Hey guys, Will from EDM Tips here. This is a follow on video from the last lesson about chord progressions and we are going to look at how to make those really beautiful heart melting chords uh, like in Dead Mouse and Cascade I remember. Well I'm going to show you some really easy techniques to quickly make your own seventh chords they're called and this is what they sound like. They're not hard to make, so let's chip over into Ableton Live and I'll show you how to make them. So we start off with a pretty standard EDM chord progression, just using triads, and this is in the key of C minor natural. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. And the chords on their own. So to get these jazzy lush 7th and ninth chords, what we're going to do is firstly we're going to change the instrument quickly. So we've got something that more suits that style because it's very popular in liquid drum and bass and deep house to have these jazzy chords and new disco as well. So those are the exact same chords we started with. And this is how we make them into seventh chords. We will use my normal technique of creating a template to the left of the clip in Ableton so that we're only working with the notes within that key. So let's quickly put all the notes of C minor natural in. So you can see all the notes are just off to the side so we can't hear them when we play our chords. To make seventh chords, we need to add the seventh interval from the root note. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can just copy that. And that, if you listen to this chord now, that is a major seventh, and you can already hear it's got that jazzy quality to it. Or heart melter, that's what I like to call them. And we will just simply add a seventh for each of these chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. And now let's listen to it. And it's as simple as that. Now we can actually go a bit more advanced and we can add the ninth as well. So you just count up to the ninth interval from the root note of each chord. So here we've got seven. So this is the eighth, so this is the ninth, and we've actually gone into the next octave up. So we'll do that for all of them as well. But the jumps sound a bit big, so we're gonna go back to our old friend chord inversions and get those chords sitting together more nicely. And we will do this just by jumping the octaves of the outlying notes. So we'll jump that down. And you can see, see that they start to get very close together. Which can have a, which will make you sound like a chord guru if you get it right. And you've instantly changed your song from normal bog standard triads to really lush jazzy chords. And I'm just going to add a piano sound playing its own riff, but with those same chords. And you can hear how suddenly the songs change character completely. This video is actually part of a course I've made called Music Theory for EDM Producers. If you want to turbocharge your production game and get ahead of the competition, 
head over to edmtips.com and check it out.